All right, so earlier uh, this morning or yesterday, whenever, I mentioned there's some mushrooms I found back here. I saw them the other day when I was out picking the goats. And uh, we're going to come, come pick them today and, and show you guys what's up. See how it goes. There's only, only three of them. The rest are uh, in the backyard. Ah, God bless it. I got to fix that. Hangs down and it, uh, it'll shock you. <laughs> Uh, every time, man. Every time. Not every time, but you know, close enough that yeah, it sucks. Just every time it gets you, it, it, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter if you know it's coming, doesn't matter if you think it's coming. It zaps you. It, it hurts. Usually there's a lot more <laughs> naughty words that, uh, that come with that. But uh, here we're going to go find these mushrooms back here. There's a goat pasture, as you can see. This all in here used to be like that in the distance there, all this undergrowth and stuff. Um, and the goats have done a, a good number on it. So, see these guys here. These are a Caesar's Amanita. Um, I don't know the exact name for them. They're, uh, they're in the Amanita family. You see, um, they have a, they come from, it's almost like an egg sac that they pop out of. Sometimes they'll have um, scales on the top, not usually though. And these guys, you see the, the annulus there. It's the same color as the rest of the mushroom. So we're gonna pick these, I'm gonna snap the bottoms of them off. Um, so that way, I'm not putting a bunch of dirt <laughs> in my bucket. Um, now mushrooms, you can pick all the mushrooms you want because um, they grow, actually, they grow from the ground here. Camera. All right. They grow from the, the ground and it's a, a body underneath. Check that out. You see that white there? That's because it was growing underneath another mushroom and um, those are the spores that came out. So the spores are white, which is a, a you know, amanitas are, are white spores. So if you weren't sure and you see that, that's um, another thing that can tell you. Uh, Here's another one. This guy hasn't quite opened up yet. There's another one right there. Um, if I dug around in here, I'd probably find uh, more of these kind of egg sacs in the ground. Whew, damn, gnats. But I am not going to do that. Uh, I'm just going to put them in my bucket. I don't have a broom to knock them off, but uh, I'm going to leave that guy. Throw him out. He's just kind of nasty. Got stepped on at some point. Um, but these guys are, are tasty. They're good. Um, as you can see, there's quite a number in here. Um, still, the, the weather seems right for chanterelles, um, but it seems a bit early for them, um, so I'm not going to bother. They go, um, looking for them too much right now. If I'm out walking and I see some, uh, these guys will probably go in the, in the omelet for breakfast tomorrow with some some fresh chev that we uh, made from the goat milk. Um, we'll see. A lot of these guys should have got out here yesterday and gotten them. Um, you see they're kind of all expanded. You can eat them then, but they're, you know, they're, they're much better when they're just a little, um, haven't quite opened up yet. Look at that guy. Nice and big. See the bugs in there? Gotta make sure to get them out. You can eat them, I guess, but... I'm not ready to eat bugs yet. I don't know about you guys, but uh, try to abstain from that as long as I can. Let's see what else we got in here. Let's see if I see any other mushrooms out. We've had lots of rain and the weather's been cooler, so it's kind of been a little, a little different for things. Um, see, they're all in here. There's just a bunch of them. Um, but like I just said, I'm just going to kind of go for the little buttony kind of guys. You can see, just pull them up and they come right with the, the vulva there. This is another Amanita um, in that family. Uh, I'm not sure what kind it is. Um, I don't know if this is the blusher or not. I, I can't tell. Um, you can tell, one of the ways you can tell, uh, it's got this this ring here, the annulus there. <sighs> Sorry, the gnats are wicked bad. Um, 
and it comes out of the same eggshell type thing. Um, and when it does, sometimes those the 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 bulb, the the white sac that it comes out of, gets stuck on the cap, and it gives you this this look kind of like scales. Um, and kind of wipe them off. That's a good way to tell that it's an amanita. Um, see all the underneath here. Uh, you see it a little bit on the bottom. Not really. Can't I can't really find the bulb on the bottom. Anyway, um, this might be the blusher. I think so. See how it's turning red there, reddish. That might be blusher. I don't know. Um, Two or three of the two or three of the deadliest um, mushrooms in the in North America are, are amanitas, um, and they're white and uh, gray. And I I learned not to mess with them. Um, you know, most amanitas will make you sick. There's the fly agaric, agaric, agaric. I don't know. They'll uh, potentially send you tripping. Um, so I don't mess with those guys. I know the ones that I can eat. Jackson's are, are pretty easy, or Caesar's animated. I don't know. Scientific names, I think, are different on the West Coast or the East Coast. And earlier I had mentioned that eh, the chanterelles might be out. And would you look at that? Not too many, just a couple. Um, but I have some other spots that I know where they grow, and I'm going to go check those guys out. Uh, so that's a good one that shows you the, the sack that it comes out of. Um, it's, kind of it's, almost, it's almost like an egg, you know? That's them, though. So, that's about it. Um, like I said, they'll go in an omelet or something tomorrow. Um, there's a couple other places I probably ought to check, but uh, it's hot and there's enough for, for tomorrow. And, I don't know, not a big fan of keeping them too long. Um, mushrooms aren't exactly my favorite. I, I enjoy them from time to time, but um, they're not like a staple. If I find them, I'll eat them for sure. But, um, you know, so that's that. I don't really dry them or anything, but probably could. There was a bunch more out there. I just, uh, it's been a while since I really like studied up on them, <laughs> learned about them and uh, remember which ones are which. Um, you know, I remember which ones will kill you, which ones will make you sick. I remember enough to stay away from them. And, uh, that's about it, right? There's, there's old mushroomers and there's bold mushroomers. And, uh, uh I'm getting older, so, you know, I guess what I said, maybe, maybe I'll show you my, my fancy, fancy omelet tomorrow. Fresh chev and fresh turkey eggs. Sounds good, right? All right? I wanted to show you guys something. Um, so you see right in there around that webbing, as the mushroom grows, that webbing is what sticks to the stipe and becomes this ring um, around that. So different kind of mushrooms have different rings. Um, on your, your cortinarius mushrooms, uh, this kind of is like a web and you won't actually see it on the stipe but it will turn the color of the spores so you'll have like a a brown ring or like a purpley brown ring around the the stipe of the mushroom um, which is kind of a giveaway if you're trying to at least ID it down to, to genus. <laughs> Go grow something. <laughs>